Hello ladies and gents, we're in Brussels for the first time. Behind us is the new Toyota Corolla Cross. We've seen it in uh, Bucharest, different spec. This was a white car, fully loaded. So let's check it out. Here's the new Corolla Cross hybrid, fully loaded spec for the car show. Uh, we have a beautiful uh, white metallic color. You can see also at the bottom here, the fuser is in uh, white. So if I come closer, you can see beautiful Blue Flakes Metallic, uh, sorry for the top lines are flashing. Uh, so on the Corolla Cross we have the new headlight, a bit longer from the profile side we have the data running lights on the top and these plexiglass pieces turn to turn signals. We also have the lens there and LED fog lights. Uh, parking sensors integrated, uh, we have some metallic gray surrounding and then a light gray around the grille which is also same gray dark color there we have the Corolla blue badge for the hybrid this is where the radar is and we have the camera for 360 parking a little air inting on the top in this area the top is closed and then a big one at the bottom so once again color of the vehicle and then unpainted uh, plastic on the arches and the uh, side skirt there if I back up you can see the whole car in the front looks quite nice this color combo looks like a panda though <laughs> just came to my mind uh, but I like it uh, although it looks a little bit weird from the profile the headlights are just so long but it's not that bad um, beautiful big alloys these are diamond cut silver on gray metallic and tire dimension is 22550 R18 so 18 inch looking nice now I'll check the spec later uh, big new side mirrors on Corolla and the um, uh, RAV4 so we have the cameras there not sure if this is a sensor but for the blind spot because we do have a blind spot warning there no film so no auto dimming just standard and over here we have the lane assist with the heaters you can see that light and rain sensor there Inside we have these standard speakers uh, and actually, excuse me, uh, JBL speakers now. Uh, I thought the color was different from the standard model, but correction there. So upgraded speakers. Uh, this is plastic roof racks. You can see someone already scratched that. So that is not great. There is here for putting a roof rack uh, sideways, but I'm, I'm disappointed that this is plasticky. Uh, it is weight reduction, but I don't know. Uh, and then on the roof, tinted shark fin, little uh, edges here for aerodynamics. That's a huge gap there. Uh, and integrated spoiler, coral cross signature there. If I back up a little bit, there's some space. You can see the whole car. And we have that protection on the bottom. It looks like a baby wrap. Uh, tinted windows on the rear you can see it's gonna be a full review of the RAV4 in black and hybrid GR version and over here you can see the rear uh, LED lights you can see there are LED projectors but they're also bulbs for the turn signals and reverse lights um, Corolla signature there hybrid badge and blue badge on the rear there's a washer nozzle here for the wiper you can see the stoplight and there are cold uh, LED lights for license plates, uh, another wide lens camera, 180 degrees for parking. And uh, at the bottom, we have the color of the vehicle for the diffuser, and the bumper is unpainted. You have the cat eyes there, and parking sensor is integrated. Uh, don't see the exhaust, actually, it is there on the right. And let's open up the cargo space back up so you can see the whole cargo space and there are some people browsing the car it is a price day you can see the whole car and this opens not too tall I'm a two meter tall person I uh, hope I won't get a copyright strike you can get this close this here or uh, close it electronically you can adjust the height and hold to memorize the position uh, on the top it's plain there is here Corolla cross detail there and we have this cover so this is some sort of rubberized textile perhaps uh, you have to pull it back and then release it 
folds. You can see the cargo space very good. Now on the left side, we have cold light, we have a grocery. Actually, this is not a grocery hood. Actually, no, it is just, it looks like this. So I kind of got confused, but this says here max two kilograms. So there you go, you have it on both ends. Uh, on the right side, you have this cubby here that is plastic. Uh, for a moment, I thought this was rubberized, but it's not. And on the left, you have the JBL uh, bass speaker. Now you have this uh, profiled rubber mat can fold like that and then you have here uh, no spare tire you can see because it's a hybrid and here we have tether points there are tether points over there as well so all four sides and I believe there is also actually no space here thought that for a moment could be but it's not let's close this up see I was confused because of that which is grocery with this so I kind of try to Hit the other one uh, anyways you can uh, tilt the rear seat so they knock down 60 40 so let me knock down this one so I think you have to push it out by of course doesn't knock down manually and you can see that it's not completely flat but you can see how that looks it's press to close so soft closing kind of backs out and then just fits right now another look at the car view from the top view from the bottom it looks just like baby wrap that's what I say <clears throat> now uh, fuel cap is locked from the inside let's hear the opening sound and closing excellent Toyota closing sound nice and soft and you can see the doors go all the way down so there won't be water residue uh, on this step there now checking inside where the seat is down you can see that you can see also beautiful pattern roof a lot of light coming inside and this is not completely flat uh, of course you can remove this by pushing it out and then taking it out there is a top that's a point for the kids so this is also how you can open it and then you can tilt it seat belt aligner there you have to remove the plastic you want to put the isofix the doors could open a little bit more wider i would say but you could fit this child seat it shouldn't be a problem uh, rubber here and then going all the way around at the bottom good soundproof you can lock here for the kids so they are not open for safety uh, roman 5 here means this is a factory tint and hard plastics on the back now on the rav, rav you get uh, you pay more so you get the uh, soft touch materials uh, on the bottom you get leather and soft touch your elbows touching nice uh, bottle holder there or cup holder power windows this is nice and sturdy you have a speaker there now we have here Toyota leather it's nice has some texture a little bit better here so it's black and gray combo and it's perforated uh, on the bottom here and on the top there there's an air vent here when you close the doors the air has to travel through somewhere especially when you close the rear so that's that and let's jump inside there's some loud music in the back room so I don't want to get a copyright strike I've adjusted the seat for myself and there's plenty of feet room and uh, good knee room uh, having in mind I was sitting in the front as a tall person two meters tall or 6.6 .6 in feet. Your AC vents, two USB-Cs for fast charging. Transmission tunnel is not too tall, but a bit wider. Let's hear the closing sound. So I would say excellent Toyota closing sound. Uh, maybe lags a little thump sound that Germans have, but it's also very good on Japanese level. Uh, you over here have a armrest, so it's rubberized in leather i wish they had an opening here though sorry it was not my attention to like knock this down i guess just kind of uh, bounced off you can of course tilt this so now all the seats are tilted uh, you have nice big tall windows in toyota and another one in the seat pillar all in the back might be you can see further behind you but it's also not that bad 
uh, you have white light. So this is a black roof liner. So I believe this should be some sort of sport package, although it's not a GR. Um, you have the electronic shade there. All four sides have, well, fast closing. At the end is like slightly slows down. Uh, handles and you have a hook there, no on the B pillar. Now you have adjustable uh, seat belt on the front and headrest you can press here to lower this down. Uh, the seats are leather, big, actually, excuse me, no pockets. I was trying to say big pockets because I saw them in Rob and Corolla. I guess they left it out on the driver's side here because there is here on the passenger side. So that's kind of odd decision there, but it is what it is. And of course, two meter tall person again. Um, well, if you straighten up, well, let me see here. I did lean backwards. Now, if I straighten up, I'm still touching the top and then I lean backwards, still touching the top. So because of the glass roof, this area is uh, where I hit my head. Uh, maybe if you don't spec the pen roof, if you have a, someone tall sitting in the back, then you might want to consider not specking the roof. Um, it's interesting, that's just a shade from the glass, I thought it was something else. And uh, yeah, let's get to the um, to the front. So I was just hearing the closing sound of the cargo space. Someone opened or closed, so you can hear some electronic sounds, but it's really soft closing. Um, front doors have keyless entry, so you can press here to lock and unlock. And driver's side has a physical cylinder. On the front, also excellent opening closing sound. The front doors open a bit wider. It's easier to get inside. You have same seals. Uh, on the front, you have soft touch materials. It's nice you have a eight pillar window there. And so this is leather, leather. Actually, this is kind of hard plastic imitating leather, but it's nice and sturdy. And you have big handles. You can, of course, open and close this on both front and rear handles. And I'm not sure if the windows are fully automatic. It has a little dent here. I'm hoping they're not saving money on that. I'm hoping this is just for the driver to not miss this one uh, instead of front one. Of course, you can uh, automatically fold the mirrors and adjust them electronically, lock and lock the car from the inside, and lock the uh, rear windows controls for the kits. Model model area, kind of small though, and a speaker there. Hybrid aluminum doorstep. Your tire pressure info is there original um, carpets and for the automatic rubber paddles um, over here even on GR I think it was just rubber they don't have uh, aluminium sport paddles okay so back and forward electronic seats you have the tilt and you have the lumbar there uh, over here we're gonna pop the bonnet later blank you can open or close from the driver and the rear you can adjust the height of the LED headlights, automatic, long beam, camera view, and I guess self-parking. You can press here to reset the odometer. Over here, steering column is manual, and you can see the panel roof. Let's jump inside because of this music. I really hope I'm not gonna get a copyright strike. Now, um, let's switch to the wide lens and show you the point of view. Now, I'm a tall person, so I can see the hood, and it feels safer when you are uh, on the road, and you have a good overview. Um, there's a good soundproof in the car. You can hear now when the doors are closed completely. Have nice big uh, side mirrors there. Nice steering wheel physical controls for the AC as well. And we have in the uh, Corolla Cross new infotainment. Uh, now it's, this is my eye level sort of, actually like this, but uh, the screen, top of the screen is closer to the bonnet and beginning of the glass or the windshield. So your eyes are closer to the road for safety and then you have the digital display there. In this case, they're all working, so we're gonna test them out later. So someone turned it on, I'm gonna switch it off for a moment. Um, so we pass the rest of the car, zoom back in. When you exit the car, when you turn it off, you have some uh, trip information there. Checking the steering wheel, it's still the same steering wheel too I've been using for a while now. I have the horn, this is nice imitation of leather but it's rubberized uh, you have nice physical controls without piano black so trip computer for the digital cockpit return button phone calls voice commands volume uh, modes um, cruise control and 
cruise distance. As you can see, they've taped on all of the cars, so they didn't want anyone to, um, you know, change the uh, light position. And over here, you have the wiper controls. This is supposed to be covered by leather, but it's hard plastic. Have a nice vents uh, we saw in Corolla and Rav. Uh, on the top, hard plastic, and then this is also covered by leather, but hard plastic. There is an air vent going sideways. There's a JBL speaker in the uh, A pillar, and there's standard speaker there. So this is an upgrade. Now, uh, there's this A pillar, and this mirror is to the side. This is for better aerodynamics, but the uh, small window is here for you to see the pedestrians so that the a pillar is not creating a blind spot for the pedestrians coming from your left hard plastics but then soft here this is softly padded uh, in the Corolla this is soft and in a RAV but in this case they've kind of cheapened out I guess um, you have the on and off volume options actually this is for like the mute more because maybe you have to hold it to turn it on and off Air vents, classical hazards that you cannot see for the uh, mirrors from the driver perspective, although they are in the mirrors, so I think they should update that. Power button, uh, manual, AC controls, there's a little flashing light where the car is supposed to be locked. Uh, and climate off, front, rear defrost, eco normal fast, fan speed, air direction. Uh, close the air circulation. Uh, this is like for the passenger, I think, and AC. Uh, heated steering wheel. I thought I saw it on the other side. No, that was self parking. USB A, and this is like high low um, heating options for the seats. Uh, QI charger there. This is like a little button you can press. And this is hard plastic. Hard plastic. So this is kind of, you know, you can wiggle it, but. I think for the most part it's very stiff. Uh, this is covered by leather. There's a little button to press uh, and park reverse neutral drive brake. And you have here driving modes, traction off and EV mode. Nice leather here, electronic parking brake, auto hold. A uh, bit of piano black there. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it's not that bad. And here you have just plastical uh, standard cup holders, not adjustable. This is Kind of soft, but it's like hard underneath. Same as in Corolla, I think it's the same. Um, there, I will review the Corolla facelift, so there's going to be a separate video on the channel. Subscribe if you want to see that, and click the bell to get notified. Uh, 12 volt outlet. Uh, I think in the Corolla there was like another USB there. This is carpet. This time it's fixated, but you can see. Oh, they actually glued it in. So on the, on the other car, this was not glued, and it was like flimsy going all the place very comfortable seats perforated and let's check here so slowly opening and big uh, spacious glove compartments plain plastic but it feels nice and soft to the touch and to wrap it on the top good overview on the rear so the front or the middle mirror inside uh, has the uh, auto dimming there's a little button there to turn it on or off uh, on the top, we have the uh, open or closed shape. You have the LED lights. I think they're cold, but they're not working at the moment. And then over here, you have the cover for the emergency uh, button there and airbag uh, information. So, uh, top visor, uh, when you open the mirror, cold light turns on. There's a cold light on the rear, so I believe this is also cold. Uh, privacy mirror, and then when you close it up, the light shuts off. You can put a document here, like maybe your parking card. And this does not extend, so it is still this area is completely not covered, shining uh, from the side. Now, this is a cloth, like a dark gray cloth, and then this is like more rubberized, some sort of material. And uh, for the front, headspace, plenty of headroom, not an issue in like 99% of cars. Um, now, let's press the power button twice to turn on the electronics. You can see the blind spot there. You can see the Toyota symbol there. And uh, I'm going to focus on the uh, main display here. Continue, uh, it goes off automatically. It's gonna be some beeping sounds, but uh, I'm gonna ignore them. So, um, new display, new infotainment. It's way faster than the previous, it looks better. Now this is Google Maps, it doesn't have satellite view, 
and it's subscription base unfortunately but uh, you can change it to day and night display for the whole screen now it is very fast and you can see by pinch to zoom it just loads stuff fairly fast and i'm really uh, pleased with that uh, you can of course change the orientation here and what do you see um, zoom in zoom out uh, there's options here points of interest display options um, and over here you can see music now we're gonna play some music briefly jbl so i have to mute it not to get a copyright strike good clear sound with the jbl speakers has a nice bass as you probably heard uh, now there are here preset station lists and there are sources fm bluetooth or dab um, phone connections via bluetooth car options strip info history and let's go back energy flow this is very basic i think they should work a little bit on this but it's okay uh, voice commands work great you can like turn on air condition turning on automatic air conditioner there you go now you have the notifications here web browser you need to be connected to your car's uh, wi-fi and on the bottom here uh, we have personal information we have bluetooth devices uh, list you have general information uh, you have date and time uh, language units uh, been there wi-fi display now in display options you can put it automatic you can put it to the day mode uh, and if you put it automatic it automatically controls everything you see that but i think um i would personally have it on automatic but during um the day this is okay but not on a car so you can see it's flickering so i would keep it like this but this is dark so maybe i would just keep it on the night theme uh camera and other kind of stuff now uh display options sound and media so you have those pause and read fm internet radio dab yeah um and i'm going back here <clears throat> navigation options route guidance all the good stuff traffic map updates and other whatever that means favorites okay now um voice and search you can hear say hey toyota and it didn't hurt me this time because it was kind of quiet uh, deliberately but you know it just listens to you lights uh, you can see here climate utility so the lights are like coming living home uh, options uh, vehicle customization actually I was there sorry and dealer info we can add dealer can add his like phone number or stuff something like that and you have updates uh, I'm not sure if they're over the air updates I would like that now uh, to move to the main uh, digital cockpit now there are these messages who so just turn them off uh, so we have here a few options so you use this and the OK button so this is the number one display this is the number two and the number three now you can customize each of these so let's say we're in this one you hold the OK button and then you get the middle options you can have distance maps uh, settings and messages now if you're on the maps for example here then you can switch to um, bigger one or smaller one by pressing ok like this but in this case i think it kind of um let me just exit here i think it just keeps you on the no it keeps showing the classical dials now on the other car i saw like one in the middle like one bubble but i guess um, there should be an option for that as well now let's just come back to this one we're playing with hold ok now uh, over here you have cruise distance 
settings. Now over here you have uh, adjustment of the brightness, all these safety features. Um, you just have to hold in and then get into this one. So return um, and settings once again, just to show you here. Language units, EV, fuel economy, hybrid system. There you go. Now, um, to come back to this, excuse me, not that. Um, hold in OK. Now I'm going to put this on the minimalist. Uh, now you can go to the left and choose also all these. And you can go to the right and choose all of these. So you can customize it to uh, your personal preferences. So that was it. And yeah, uh, you can see the climate control, how it looks. You can sync both sides. It's a dual zone. You can switch it off here. I'm going to do that. Uh, and over here is your heated steering wheel. Uh, heated seats not working at this moment for some reason. You see, this is blue. And let me just see if we can turn on the camera view there. Completely forgot. Um, check surroundings for safety. Odd graphics, not the best resolution of the camera. The screen is good, but I guess uh, it's just gonna move. So, here you can see wow, this like a 3D map of the car. And you can pause here, I guess. So, it's kind of odd. Way, and then you have here all of that. Yeah, uh, not to forget you have the EV mode. Uh, I don't see any. Actually, there is a on the side uh, EV there. It's not changing though. And driving mode. So uh, you have here power. I uh, have eco, and you have normal. So. That's pretty cool animation there. And then it changes the color of the display, maybe, you know? Okay, this was this. So, power, oh, so now I realize I'll have to update the other videos, but yeah, I think this gives you the, no, it doesn't. I thought it would give you the uh, bubble in the middle, but it seems like it's tied to maybe a package or something. It does change the color of the ambience, but it is, yeah, it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna switch it off and I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna turn on the hazards there. You can see that trip computer info and uh, let's yeah, show you the not. hazards and open the bonnet. So you can see the well, bulb hazard or turn signals. You can also see them on the mirrors, but they should put a little like opening so you can see it from the driver and then you turn them on and then you can see it here uh, it is sequential or dynamic turn signal now uh, the bonnet push uh, in the middle to the left you can see that so that is the mechanism and here is the uh, if I'm not mistaken four, four cylinder federal engine so it's a hybrid so you can see electric motor as well and black thing here is your washer fluid uh, you have to use the little leg if you want to keep it open on the top, let it close, closes perfectly, and there you go, you can see the dynamic front turn signals. So if you want to see more from Brussels, do subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified when I upload more videos, and let's check the price tag. So 2.0 uh, liter hybrid, 197 horsepower, that's nice, almost 200 horsepower, ECVT, 5-seater, white pearl color, black interior, and we have the 46 1500 euros price tag including taxes and then this might be like i don't know if it's a discount 10 year warranty so everyone thank you for watching be a cool person smash the like button on the video leave your comment below how do you like the new corolla cross and hopefully i'm gonna see you in the next one bye